students, welcome to this tutorial on Pro Tools. In this particular tutorial, we're going to talk about how to open the application and how to set up your first Pro Tools session using the Quick Start dialog box. Also, we'll discuss briefly the mix and edit windows and how to add tracks to your session. So let's get started. When you first open Pro Tools, uh, you do this by clicking on the icon. Um, I'm assuming since our labs have Macs in them that uh, we're going to be using Macs, so that's what I'm demonstrating uh, this application on as well. I have Pro Tools down here in my dock on my Mac. You can see the icon right here, so in order to open Pro Tools, all I do is click on it. Now, I already have Pro Tools open. That's how I'm able to uh, communicate with you and record the audio signal. But assuming I didn't have it open, I would go ahead and click on this icon. You can also find Pro Tools inside of your Applications folder, which is usually over here to the right-hand side in your Docs. So you could click on that and go up to the Avid folder, and then to the Pro Tools folder, and inside of that, you'll see there is the Pro Tools icon here for the application. You just click on that once, and it will open Pro Tools. Your applications might be set up to be viewed as a list view or folders view. Mine was set up to be viewed as a list view, so when I click on this, you get a vertical list. However, if yours is set up to be viewed in a grid fashion, you may get something like this. Either way, the way that you find Pro Tools is the same. Go to the Avid folder, the Pro Tools folder, and then click on the Pro Tools icon. So either of those options will get you to where the Pro Tools application is actually kept. Once you've clicked on the Pro Tools icon, you'll get the Pro Tools splash screen uh, showing you that the application is loading. After about 30 seconds to a minute, Pro Tools should finish opening the application, and you'll come to a window that looks like this. Now, again, I have, this isn't open in Pro Tools. This is just a picture of what we call the Quick Start dialog box. It will give you four options. To create a session from a template, to create a blank session, open a recent session, or open a particular session. Now, what we want to do is we want to create a session from a template. Because I have a Pro Tools template set up for Music 1400 so that everybody's Pro Tools sessions will look the same. So that's what we'll do. So what you would do is you would click on this uh, drop-down menu right here, and you'll go to the Music tab, and then once you're in the music folder, you will scroll down until you see a template called Music 1400 Template. There's also one in there called Music 1400 MIDI Template, and we want just the Music 1400 Template. Now, when you click on that, you're telling Pro Tools that's the template you would like to create a new session from. Then you can go down here and you can click on this disclosure triangle right here if your session parameters aren't showing. And you can choose from WAV file types or AIFF. You can also choose your bit depth for your session and also your sample rate. As you remember from one of our earlier modules, uh, in order to be professional quality audio, we have to have a certain sample rate and bit depth. That sample rate and bit depth is 44.1 kilohertz and 16-bit. So select 44.1 from this drop-down menu and click right here on 16-bit. And also the file type we want will be WAVE. Remember the reason we want WAVE is because WAVEs tend to be uh, more interchangeable between Macs and PCs than an AIFF file based session might be. So once we have selected our audio file type as WAVE, our sample rate is 44.1 and 16-bit as our bit depth, and we have chosen the Music 1400 template for our new session, we can click OK. 
Once we click OK, it'll take us to the Save dialog box. Once you get to your Save Session dialog box, you'll need to add a descriptive name for your piece instead of just Music 1400 Template. So maybe you want to call it, you know, Your Name underscore Test Session. You know, maybe something like that. So if I was to create a new session, maybe my dialog box looks like this. And I might call it uh, maybe Music 1400 underscore My Name, Todd test one something like that just a way to describe so you know what it is doesn't have to be an underscore or anything else now the next thing you want to make sure of is that you know where you've saved your session I run into so many students who just hit save they don't know where they've saved their material you've got to know where you're saving your session data um, you can click on this button if it's not already open and it's going to show you where your data is being saved. Right now, if I save this, it's going to be saved inside the Roadhouse Rock 4, or I'm sorry, Roadhouse 4 folder, and that happens to be inside the Roadhouse Rock folder, that happens to be inside the Anarchy folder, and that happens to be on my audio hard drive. So, audio hard drive, Anarchy folder, Roadhouse Rock, and Roadhouse Raw a Roadhouse 4. That's where I had chosen to save it. But you got to know that information. You got to know where you're saving your data. You can also look at some of these other views. So you could look at this block view or folder view. You could also look at this vertical view that allows you to see uh, where you're saving your data. You could choose Audio Drive, Anarchy, Roadhouse Rock, and Roadhouse 4. You can also stretch this out and you can see how all these folders are nested inside each other. For your purposes, you may just want to save it in your Documents folder. Perhaps Documents folder and then do something like this. New folder, Todd's Pro Tools Sessions. Click Create and then you'll know it's going to save it inside of that particular folder in your documents folder. Important to make sure that you know where your data is being saved. That's probably one of the single most problems that I deal with with students when it comes to starting to use Pro Tools is I don't know where I save my data. Make sure you understand how the Mac architecture works so that you know where your data is being saved. Once you've renamed this session, you can click Save, and it will open up a blank Pro Tools session for you. And that blank Pro Tools session will be named what you've named your session right here. So if I click Save, it would create this new session, and I could see that name up here. Okay, now we've got our Pro Tools session opened and yours should look almost identical to mine. Across the top here we have something called the Edit Toolbar. It gives us a lot of our basic information about our session as well as a lot of our tools that we can use to edit audio or MIDI data inside of Pro Tools. Down here we have a horizontal view of our material, our audio or MIDI data. This particular view in Pro Tools is called the Edit Window, and you can see that name up here. So Edit Window, and the file is my Vox file, or my vocal file that I'm using to communicate with you as I'm recording these videos. So you can see right now we don't have any tracks in this session, it's just a blank session. The first thing you want to learn how to do is go back and forth between the two main windows in Pro Tools. The main windows are the edit window, which is this window, and the mix window. To get to the mix window, we can go up here to the window, drop down menu, and choose mix. So you can see the mix window will give us a vertical view of our material. So if I turn this on right now, you can see this particular track and it gives you a vertical view so it looks like a real traditional channel strip that you might 
uh, find on an analog console. So this is where you get that particular view. And when we go back to the edit window, we get a horizontal view. So it's showing your data here in a linear fashion, even though Pro Tools is a nonlinear workstation. It's going to show it along a timeline here. You can also see that this is the beats and bars. So bar 2, bar 3, bar 4. Now there's a shortcut to go back and forth between the edit window and the mix window. That shortcut is right here, command and equals. That is the command and equals buttons on the QWERTY keys. So that's your main keyboard, not the 10 keypad off to the right hand side. I can use that shortcut command and equals to toggle back and forth between the mix window and the edit window. So that's how we get back and forth between our mix window and our edit window. So in this tutorial, we've learned how to create a new session from a template in Pro Tools, choose the session parameters, save that particular session, know where we've saved that data, and then also how to navigate back and forth using the shortcut command equals between the edit window and the mix window. In the next tutorial, we're going to discuss how to add some tracks and what those different track types are and the differences between them. So stay tuned.